Hello everybody and welcome back to another adventure into sanitary with your guide tag. So, last time we jumped over the bridge, we found the key to the storage and everything, and now we're gonna be talking to this girl. My god, she's half worm! Half worm, huh? This girl's eyes are missing. Was she in some sort of accident? Uh, excuse me, little girl, but could I talk to you for a second? Sure, mister. I don't get many visitors. May I ask your name? My name is Maria. Maria Santiago. You even got a tail and everything. Where are we? What's the name of this town? There is no town. Not anymore. What do you mean, not anymore? There was a town before Mother got here. People were happy. Everything was fine. Before your mother came to town? What do you mean? You're new here. You just don't understand. No, I don't understand. You're only confusing me more. Could you explain it to me? Start at the beginning? I'm sorry. If you want to really understand what's going on, I think that there's lots of newspapers and stuff in the town hall. But I haven't seen them. Come back in a little while and we'll talk some more. I'd show you the way to the town hall, but my eyes... You already read them. I've read the old newspapers in the town hall, Maria. Oh, good. You found it. What do you want to talk about now? I haven't seen any adults in this town. Oh, yeah, you are. Where are they? Where are your parents? I'm sorry, but Mother has forbidden us to talk about them. I keep hearing about Mother, but it doesn't sound like she's anyone's real mother. Who is this person? She's resting right now. Otherwise, I wouldn't speak to you. You're right, though. She isn't anyone's real mother. She's really... <gasps> what is it, Maria? I think she's waking up. I can't talk anymore. Mother will hear me and get awful mad. But... Oh, damn it! Hmm. Who is this mother, though? Forbidden? But why? Why can't you talk about your parents? <sighs> Please don't be mad. I'd tell you if I could. It's just that, well, I'll be punished again if I do. Punished? How? A pumpkin patch. She'll have me put in the pumpkin patch again. It's a terrible place. It doesn't look so bad from here. Once you're inside, everything turns bad. You've been in there before? Yes. The others dragged me in there. The other children? They did as they were told. Mother wanted to teach me a lesson. What lesson, Maria? Not to look for our parents. Mother said we should never, ever do that. But I was too curious. Mother saw me. She told the other kids that I was bad. Then she made them put me in the patch. I don't remember much, just those... Nasty birds, black wings, they pegged at my eyes. It hurt a lot. But when the birds were done, Mother took the pain away. That, that, that's horrendous. How could she do such a thing to a child? It's okay. It's not so bad now. I'm kind of used to it. Anyway, once Mother wakes up, Everything will be better. Okay. What are you... Please. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I've already said too much. The newspapers mentioned a preacher named O'Toole. Did you know him? Yes. He was real scared about the comet. I remember him saying at church that God was mad about the pumpkins and that he was going to punish us for taking advantage of the land. A comet. Is that what happened here? Did the comet somehow make the plants around here grow so wild? Mother told us that the comet was a sign of her coming, a sign that we were special children. Well, hmm. The gate has a combination lock. All right, let's see if we can remember this. I need the right combination to open this. Now, let's see. All right, there's three of them, yeah. And we 
I'm gonna guess that there's a uh, one at the end. So let's try four. Or five, four. Let's try five, four. Oh. Otherwise, four, five. No. There we go. Because that was many times as. I guess it's time to check out this patch. As the others beat. Uh, uh, oh. I can't remember her name right now for some reason, but at tic tac toe. I'm gonna need this. Slice and dice, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, this is where you gotta. Uh oh. An extra eye oh. <coughs> Ah, crap. I wasn't fast enough for that one. Come on. There we go. Times before you get set back and restarted. Almost there. Last one. Come on. All right. Here comes one of my favorite parts. <gasps> First you break those, then Got you... Got I guess he thought it was better to burn up than fade away. <laughs> then you break him. Okay. Now, this is where the game gets a bit more twisted. Because it is time... ...to meet Mother. His mother! What a huge, disgusting nightmare! So you finally arrived. I suppose it was inevitable. Yet, I hope that the pumpkin patch would deter your progress. Apparently not. I must admit that I'm intrigued as to how you arrived here. I was certain I'd needed out your kind before sleep overtook me. Meat secretions hang in the air around your body. They offend my senses. My god, what are you? I am beyond your understanding, human. However, you may call me what the children do. Mother. Mother indeed. So this is what's killed the, all the adults and such. Mother? I should call you what you are. Nothing but a disease. Mind your tongue, human. I am more parent to these seedlings than you or anyone else could be. These aren't your seedlings. They're children. Flesh and blood. Don't you see that? I see. And it disgusts me. Animal sacks filled with loose cells. It's a wonder you don't burst. What? An inferior vessel for the spirits of these children. But why have you done this? The children were in danger. Danger from what? You've done more harm than... Than what? You? <laughs> The meat called Jedha showed me how harmful your kind can be, as did the one called Preacher. Jedha? I saw his name on the pumpkin patch sign. What does he have to do with all this? He made me see the evil of your kind. How destructive he was. Jeddah preyed upon his own child, making her suffer and die. 
The entire town turned a blind eye to Jedi's crimes, and I watched. The people's vicious disregard for Carol's safety was no less a crime than her father's. So you killed them? Their own inner chaos would have destroyed them eventually. I only expedited the event. Set things in order. Why were you so concerned about Carol? She talked to me when no one would listen. I tried to communicate with them, but Carol's voice was like... Music to me. She was my favorite, and I failed her. The way the blob moves its mouth when it talks, it's really disconcerting. How does the preacher figure into all of this? What could he possibly have done? He was a superstitious fool. He spread paranoia, I fear, swaying the others away from rational thought. The humans put their trust and faith in him and followed. When the preacher assured them that Jeter wasn't a real threat to Carol, they listened. If you're as omnipotent as you seem to think you are, then why haven't you weeded me out also? In due time, little me. For now, you are of little consequence to me. My name is Max, not Meat. Your name is meaningless. An animal noise. And you are nothing more than a bag of meat. If you truly feel that way, then why have you spared the children? Aren't they meat too? Yes. And you have seen them bickering and divided. Yet, they are not beyond hope. The children still have some innocence, which, with some reconstructing on the cellular level, I will cultivate in order to give them salvation. And you think that you can offer them salvation? What conceit! It is not conceit! After I complete their transformation, the children will be one with me forever. That is their salvation. That doesn't sound like a very good salvation. Transforming them into simple plants? You call that salvation? Simple plants! Insolent meat! You know what your problem is. You lack structure. The cells in your body are practically floating away. It makes me sick to look at you. Everything around you is in chaos. My form is superior in every way to your weak flesh. My flesh is so weak, then why are you afraid of me? Afraid of you? <laughs> you overestimate yourself. I think you're the one who overestimates yourself, you perverse, bloated egomaniac! You impudent wretch! Ah, I've got to... Kill that diseased monster before it kills the children. Uh -huh. A wrench, courtesy of, well, thanks, Mom. Okay, so I am now gonna do a couple of stops around, and I will show you what I'm doing. So first, we're getting this. No, I don't. No, oh. I don't, no. I can't use that here. Uh, okay. An empty old can. Oh, it's just to open it. I'm dumb. Okay, never mind. So we need... Looks like a jumper cable. Might be useful. Yes. First we get the jumper cable. Step two. I'll rush. Get the holes. Okay. There we go. Step three. Holes. Rubber. Get the gas from... No, not a good... Uh, no. Open. 
get the Robert. gas from the car. Step four. Combine everything. From the not from here. To, to make give, give mother something to really whine about. That's that. Jumper. And there. To What's the point? There. And then over here we take the gas we got. The full Then, goodbye. An mother. old gas powered generator. Oops. There, the children are free of you. Sorry, mother. Ugh, what a mess. Yep. Thank you for freeing us, Max. Now that Mother is destroyed, the children are slowly returning to normal. They've all gone through the tunnel to join the rest of the world. I waited for you. Yes, but where are we going? to the courtyard and chapel. Max, it's me, Morgan. I'm right here. The asylum? How did I get back here? Those children seemed so real. Did I save them or am I going completely mad? That is it. We're gonna have to explore that next time. So. Load game. Save this there. Oh, crap. Well... Uh, HEY! Shh. Well, I screwed up. Anyways, I'll fix that on my own, so... <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for joining me on this adventure in two Sanitary. And I hope I'll see you in the next one as well. This is Tag, signing out. Bye-bye!